good morning to all in today's class we will see about the various properties of s matrix properties of s matrix so we have five uh, properties for an s matrix so the first one is s matrix is always a square matrix of order n cross n so example if you take a two port network then you will have a two cross two matrix we have seen earlier s11 s12 s21 s22 so it's a square matrix similarly if you have three ports then you will have a three cross three matrix that we will see in e plane t as well as h plane t then uh, if there are four ports then we will have a four port uh, sorry we we have we will have a four cross four matrix that we will see in uh, magic t so the second property is unitary property unitary property for a lossless network unitary property for a lossless network it is nothing but s into s star is equal to i or we can say s into s transpose is equal to identity matrix i then the third one third property is symmetry property symmetry property for reciprocal network symmetry property for reciprocal network you can also say it as s is equal to s star or s is equal to s transpose usually you can mention it as s ij is equal to s ji so here the first term represents the output port and the second term represents the input port so it means i can change the output port to input port or the input port to output port but my output should remain the same so if a network satisfies that condition then that is called a reciprocal network then fourth property is zero diagonal elements for perfectly matched network zero diagonal elements for perfectly matched network so perfectly matched network you can take an example of a two port network so this is my port 1 and this is my port 2 i am going to give an input through port 1 it should come out of port 2 it should not reflect back if the two port network can uh, satisfies that condition then it is called a perfectly matched network so yes 1 1 is equal to 0 what i am giving here should not reflect back similarly what i am giving through this port it should come out of port 1 it should not reflect back so yes 2 2 is equal to 0 so we can we you know the s matrix of a two port network is s 1 1 1 2 s 2 1 s 2 2 so S11 is zero. S22 is zero. So we can write it as zero. S12, S21 zero. So you can see here the diagonal elements are zero. So zero diagonal element for perfectly matched network. And uh, the last property is phase shifting property. Phase shifting 
property. So, in some application, A2 power network, when you are giving an input, the phase will change. In a E plane T, we have three ports, ports 1, 2 and 3. So, if an input is given through port 3, it will be a positive going signal at port 1 and it will be a negative going signal at port 2. So, if we can also say it like, if I am giving some 5 volt through port 3, it will come as plus 5 volt through port 1 and minus 5 volt through port 2. So, magnitude remains the same but phase is shifted. So, this property is phase shifting property. So, these are the 5 uh, different properties of an S matrix. So, the first one is S matrix is always a square matrix of order n cross n. Second one, unitary property for lossless network S into S transpose is equal to I. Then, third one, symmetry property for reciprocal network S is equal to S transpose. Fourth one, zero diagonal element for perfectly matched network. And uh, the last one is phase shifting property. So, out of these uh, five properties of S matrix, we have proofs for lossless unitary property and symmetry property. So, we will see about these two in the next class. Thank you.